Alright Riot fans, today I'm going to show you how to hook up a video game system to a computer monitor. There's only a couple things that you need and that would be a uh, monitor that supports at least a DVI or an HDMI port. Uh, an HDMI to a DVI adapter if you only have a DVI port. You're going to need your original uh, AV cables or a aftermarket set for for use for sound and then obviously an HDMI cable and a PlayStation Xbox or something of that sort and a set of speakers so with all that together you can actually use a PC monitor and use it as a TV alright now to show you exactly everything that you need you need what is a called a DVI converter so as you see it has a male side for DVI and an HDMI side for HDMI alright next thing that you need is AV cables for the uh, PlayStation Xbox or whatever you decide to use anything that has the red and white audio cables so you can have them either with yellow, it really doesn't matter, or the uh, red, blue, and green. So the one that I purchased, because I didn't have my original, was a universal one that has Xbox, Wii, and PlayStation. Okay, so those are the first two things that you need. Also with your monitor, you need to make sure that it has the DVI port which is the white one not the blue one the blue one is VGA this is a monitor that does not have HDMI so what I need to do is is I need to take my adapter here I just need to plug it into the DVI port port like so comes in with these little screw insides so, to make sure that your connection stays together so make sure you get that in there nice and tight. Now, something that's actually optional to have is a HDMI angler, which has a male and a female part, but it makes it so that uh, the HDMI cables maybe fit better. So those are the first couple items that you need. Obviously you need a video game system and a set of speakers. Okay, now to put the rest of it together. All right, all you do is obviously you're going to plug in a power cable to your monitor. Okay, then after that, since I like using my angler. I go ahead and I plug my HDMI cord into that and then plug in my thing. So basically it should look something like this when it's all plugged in and together. Okay so now you're pretty much good and set to go with video. Alright, so with video only, with everything plugged in as you see, my monitor will show Black Ops 2, which is currently in my PlayStation 3. But as you can tell, there's no sound. Alright, now to tackle that issue, it's actually relatively easy. That's where your audio cable comes into play. Alright, for PlayStation, it's this one that looks like this and you just go ahead and plug this into the back of of your PlayStation. Alright. From there it's relatively easy depending on what type of setup that you have. Um, you might need a cable that looks like this that has these end pieces off 
and it has a connector that looks like this at the end. Well, anything that can t put turn these into this will work. All right, you can bypass that whole th system. I went out and bought this Logitech system. It's the Z three twenty three. It actually has RCA ports right in the back. It only cost me forty nine dollars on sale at Best Buy. Uh, from there. Like, as I'll show you, is this is the speaker system that I have. Um, obviously, it has another speaker to it, but it's currently on a, another part too far away. But if you look at the back of this speaker system, how it has the, let's see if I can get in there, the red and whites for auxiliary input. Alright, so. If you have this type of setup, you're just going to hook it into that. And then you're actually going to be good to go from there. And then you will have sound. As I will demonstrate. Now, like I said, if you don't have something like that, and you need a set of cables like this, uh, these come with all Turtle Beach headsets and most people that are gamers have them so they're pretty much required to let's just say listen to your sound so make like if you have them you can actually use those and then with the backs being like this you can actually uh, still use and listen you can always get a splitter for this thing so you can actually use your headset as well so it's not like too invasive but all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your two audio cables, your red and your white, and plug them into the back of your your sound system, or your RCA, or your 3.5 millimeter. So now that I have this plugged in, you'll hear that I have sound. All right, and to give you a brief kind of gameplay thing with this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just show you a couple seconds so you can see like the the frame rates and, and all that, and you can see that it's not going to be an issue. But before I actually do that, if your monitor's resolution isn't very good, uh, like this monitor here, it'll only do up to 720p, so when it asks you for resolutions, you have to make sure that you select uh, obviously up to 720p so basically you're going to go in for your whole sounds or your display settings so I'm going to show you that before I show you the game I know I'm kind of jumping around here a little bit but it's just kind of what happens Alright, so all you do here is you go to your video output, you make sure that right on the top that you select HDMI, which is currently selected. Okay. You can do a setting method for automatic if you want to, or you can do custom, right? I do custom because I can select. With my monitor, which is an HP S2031, I can only use 480p or 720. I can't do 1080i. So, with that being said, uh, I still get very good game, game picture, and most games, especially for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, are at the 720p level. So you're not really missing anything. So, if you select, let's just say 1080i or 1080p and it doesn't work, and the screen goes black, let it go for 30 seconds, it'll automatically revert back and just uncheck the 1080 and add uh, just the 720p. So, also at the end of your video settings, you can uh, do set your audio settings as well. But, like I said, we already did that to audio input connector. And we're good to go for that. I am going to go actually into the menu and tell you what you have to do to split out dual audio because by default, it pushes your audio out through your HDMI. So, 
basically all you're going to do is you're going to go into your settings and then your audio settings and then you're going to change it to where your audio out actually is either a dual audio out or you put it for um, the uh, component cables yes I'm an Indians fan alright so basically you just go over to your settings all the way down the sound settings alright there's audio out or multi audio output you can go ahead and turn that on and you're done and everything will still work the other option that you have is to actually go into the audio output settings and then the first thing you have is HDMI optical di optical di optical digital and audio input connector and SCART and as you see the picture below that's exactly what you need to use so you just go ahead and select that alright so now as you can tell we still have sound here so like I said we're gonna go into the game so you can actually see that this setup actually works very decently so I actually choose to use this over a TV alright now using these cords here which is gonna be the majority of people I'm gonna show you exactly how to hook it up so that you get sound to work alright so you don't actually need to plug these into the back of anything what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug your PlayStation or Xbox's sound cables into the back of these okay and it's gonna be just like so just right into the back just like that right and then to get your sound all you're going to do is take your audio cable and plug it into the speakers. As you see, you got sound. All right, so that's pretty much all you have to do now with uh, these cables here uh, if you don't have those you can go over to like Radio Shack, Best Buy even Walmart now and you can pick up uh, a set of female RCA's to um, the, the 3.5 millimeter jack which is the same thing but if you already have them for a Turtle Beach set, might as well just do the same thing or use the same ones, right? That you already have. So, pretty much that's what I do. It works for me. It should work for you too. Um, I mean, if not, uh, you can always go back to a TV. But this is actually the best setup that I uh, have actually ever used. Uh, I think that this. This uh, screen has a better picture than my TV did. And now we're going to go into this game, and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So, in the very end, I hope that this game or this uh, tutorial actually helps somebody out. But. This is just one way that you can get away with, uh, like if your TV blows out or something and all you have is a computer monitor, uh, you can hook it up this way. Everybody usually has a set of computer speakers or some set of speakers to plug in. Most people have those cords and HDMI cable. Um, you know, that, that's all you need. Alright, so. I know that the quality doesn't look too well coming off the camera, but you know it's actually uh, just as good as a TV. Uh, refresh rates and everything are uh, on par with the TV. I haven't had to worry about anything with it, so like I said, I actually prefer to do it this way. I mean, I'm not using my TV's audio uh, settings anyway, so why use something that takes up more energy to actually use? Alright, bear with me though, my internet is really horrible. Actually, you know what? We'll just do a 
do a game with, uh, let's just say, zombies. I'll show you real quick. I wish I had better internet, but down here in El Paso, it's it's really horrible. So as you've seen so far, there's not any choppy behavior. It doesn't screen, doesn't flicker. It's uh, per it's perfectly good. All right, so we'll just do a local game. And I'm just going to hurry up and select things to get into the game. I don't have a like video capture thing and you know that wouldn't be very well for this anyways, but I'm just showing you it works. And just so you can tell the audio is actually coming from the speaker. Alright, so as you can tell, running around. We were, or I'm not trying to actually be very great at this at the moment. I'm just trying to show you the the gameplay. As you see, it runs perfectly fine. Why am I out of bullets? Hello, who's responsible for that? Uh oh. Uh, I'm Go ahead, get back! The two are all kill you again! Alright, so pretty much that's exactly how it works. I hope that this tutorial has helped you guys uh, hook a monitor up for a uh, uh, use as a, let's just say, a, a, something for video games. You can also hook up things like Western Digital TVs, Apple TVs, anything that hooks up HDMI. You can pretty much convert this into a TV. Same thing for like direct TV set boxes. So, you know. Alright, thank you for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe, share, and listen to the Reflective Riot.